Welcome to another episode of Trading the Price, a video series on trade setup for stocks, future, and ETF. Well, today is June 17, 2017. Let's start off with uh, Apple. Got the uh, daily uh, price chart here on Apple. And uh, let me uh, switch over. We'll take a look at the. Uh, so here's the uh, chart of Apple. Here's the daily chart of Apple. You can see that uh, after making a high or somewhere around this 156.65, it uh, sort of been uh, consolidating for a while and uh, you know try to uh, get back up to the high. Uh, then it finally uh, broke down and got below this uh, this price here. Uh, then um, then it came down and we found that uh, there is buyer down here at 142.51. But unfortunately, uh, the uh, the buyer wasn't uh, uh, too uh, too committed because a lot of these is essentially uh, short covering, and you can see that the price uh, came back to some resistance up here, and it just got faded back down. So right now it's coming back and retesting this uh, this price uh, level here that uh, was found to be uh, unfair. Uh, Price down here at this low, and uh, and found some buyer to come in, to step in. Uh, we did see that on Thursday, but on Friday, unfortunately, uh, the uh, seems like the buyers got exhausted, and uh, the seller uh, resume uh, control. So right now, essentially, I'm going to look for either a break of this trend line, a break of this level at 142, and change, and looking for it to come down to this 137.44. Because last time when it came down at this level here, we saw some buyers stepping in. And so uh, so we want to see when this price come back down here, will we see buyer uh, come back in and uh, bid up the price uh, once again. If it's not, then we probably will see uh, lower prices and the uh, next level could be down, way down, way down here at this 104. But in the meantime, you know, we also have this Fibonacci retracement set up, and here's the level of 618, you know, uh, this uh, 136.57, so which is uh, pretty close to this 137-ish type of price down here. So we'll be basically looking for this 137, 136 half, you know, this area for potential support if we break this level at 142 and a half. But if it's come back up, let's say we get a bounce off of this trend line. Basically, I just kind of connect some point here, assuming that it found support at this level, and it will get a bounce here. Then basically connecting this trend line here based on these two points. Not, necessar not necessarily that is the case, but at least right now that's the best guess. So until it proven otherwise, if it does get a bounce back from uh, you know bounce from this support level at this 152 and a half, then we're probably looking for this thing to come back up at this level here which is somewhere around this uh, 147 and a half okay so we're going to see would it be able to get back above this level if we could get back above this level then the next uh, resistance level we're probably looking at this 149.70 but in regardless you know until it form a uh, higher high higher low type of formation I'd be looking for the possibility of uh, setting up uh, short on the downside on any resistance that it encounter right uh, so right now I'm not even gonna play a bounce off of this trend line here because I don't know where it's gonna go right you know because uh, I don't uh, can't see how high it could go because but if we come up here at this 147 and a half or 149 70 then I will be basically looking at uh, you know, keeping an eye on possible short setup to play it back down at least to this 142.50, right? This level here, unless it get you know until it get a little bit of a more test and push it back up to this one above this 149.70, because if I go back and look at the weekly price here, right? You can see that we have this, uh, you know, this candle here. Uh, Right, we got this candle here, and it was a uh, you know a couple week inside week within this candle. Then all of a sudden it broke, right? It broke below this low here. So right now, basically, I need to see price to get back up above this level, right? To see do we find buyer because when it came down here after uh, you know uh, a couple week of uh, 
uh, in uh, you know spinning up here consolidating it did not find any buyer to bid it back up instead we got seller just uh, sold it down and here we got a little bit of a short covering then uh, the following week it just continued to sell off until it come down to this 142.50 so that's the reason why I'm kind of looking at the downside until it proved otherwise okay so uh, that's basically what I'm looking at right now any uh, type of uh, uh, bounce you know we'll be uh, looking for a potential short setup uh, on the uh, on the bounce right and play it down to at least this 137.44 okay so the next one we're gonna look at is Facebook okay again we're looking at Facebook let's take a look at the weekly and see what kind of price action been uh, putting uh, 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 there you see there's this uh, trend line or this uh, price channel it broke through this price channel and came down after this outside week here okay. it took this outside week and basically took back two weeks of a price move and came down here and found some buyer down here at 144.42 so if we take a look at this uh, on a daily basis see that it came down essentially got this little double bottom here found support at this level at 144.42 and uh, came back up and got these uh, short uh, cover also and there are buyer that uh, bid it back up uh, until it uh, come up to uh, this level somewhere around the 152.40 ish uh, then we found seller once again uh, and it sold off down here but Again, once we got close to this 144 area, right, this 146, 144 area, there seems to have found some uh, fresh buyer to build it back up. So right now, we're going to see, would it be able to carry it up above this 152.40 and get back up to uh, this uh, you know, all-time high level? And if it can't get uh, up to that point, then again, similarly to Apple, I will be looking for short uh, setup to play it back down at least to uh, retest this 144.42 okay. so uh, right now it's, it's basically I'm looking for essentially I'm looking for a retrace back into the channel right. uh, possibly uh, there could be uh, a possibility of coming back and retrace to the lower channel support trend line right. so it could it doesn't mean that it's going to come all the way down to this 110 you know this 120 area you know between this uh, 115 somewhere around 115 to this uh, 120 area because it could uh, just kind of chop around uh, you know consolidate through time and uh, and meet up with the uh, trend line as this trend line comes up so we could be uh, still looking at this 137.60 as the uh, ultimate support but that uh, you know time will tell but at least right now we essentially are looking at this 144.42 okay so we'll see uh, how is this gonna uh, come down and bounce because essentially what you could also see is that you can see a, a little bit of a head and shoulder setting up a uh, type of a pattern right if this thing uh, start coming down and, uh, and and break down below this level here then essentially you got a little bit of a uh, head and shoulder type of uh, uh, top okay. and uh, then we'll look at the uh, Alibaba uh, you can see Alibaba you know, after it broke through this 126 level here and gapped up based on the uh, little analyst uh, uh, review and it really uh, pushes the price up there and uh, and you can see that it trapped some of the short here right? when it came back down on a fade it trapped a lot of short here and the short uh, the following day basically just uh, ran for cover and once those short got covered we also uh, trapped some of the lake long and then it sold off so right now a lot of these guys are trapped up there and uh, here you know the short is still in control then once it broke below here kind of trapped some of these lakes short now so we'll see how much of a bounce that we're going to get uh, will, we, will, will it be able to come back up and relieve some of these uh, trap long here but uh, I'm basically looking for this uh, to continue to come down and fill this gap and possibly get down to this 126.40 okay? because so it's basically you know uh, uh, it's trying to consolidate here at this 135.26 uh, so we'll see uh, how much of a consolidation that uh, it could uh, uh, bring and would it be able to find uh, some uh, you know fresh fire and push it back up to at least uh, 
you know, to uh, this area here, somewhere around this 143.50. And if you can't, uh, you know, bring the uh, price back up to uh, this level here, then I'm basically looking for a uh, breakdown below this uh, this low here and come back, test this trend line, and eventually come down and retest this 126.40 essentially filling out the gap first and once we fill the gap here what I'm expecting or keeping an eye on is something you know coming down like this uh, and that's basically the one I'm uh, kind of looking uh, looking for or even you know even though it, it might come down like this and possibly come back and test that it's still basically I'm looking for a, a little bit of a pullback move back into this 114 okay but the uh, key level of support is 126.40. Uh, that's basically what I'm looking at for, for now. And here Tesla, Tesla has really been uh, squeezing the short. I mean, the short is really uh, getting a, a bunt of it. And uh, here you can see how this thing been uh, sort of running up. And uh, see these big, uh, you know, big move uh, weekly range here moving up. So. Uh, so we just have to keep an eye on these guys and uh, see uh, how this thing uh, moves. Uh, and you can see that uh, there is a, a little bit of a, uh, a spinning uh, candle, uh, you know, spinning top here. And set up a uh, sort of the, uh, 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 you know, evening star, but uh, uh, did not get this red candle, but we did get a gap down. And right now this right here, we, we try to uh, to get back up on Friday, but it's kind of got faded. So we got these uh, traps short here, which on uh, Friday uh, really uh, got those guys uh, running for cover. So so most likely uh, a lot of the uh, buyers up here is basically a lot of these uh, short uh, covering. Okay, and once they are done, there really hasn't been uh, much of a new buyer uh, stepping up to uh, bid it bit the price back up so it's, it's kind of faded so right now I'm looking for this thing to continue to fade down to this 35062 okay so uh, this is the last time that I've seen that uh, you know found some buyer and uh, you know the market considered this a little bit of an unfair price down here at this low so uh, it uh, moved it back up but uh, this time I'm expecting it to see uh, it uh, uh, retest this 35062 and see would it be able to uh, find some buyer and uh, step back in and uh, bid the price back up. If it can't, then I'll be looking at these lower level down here at 334.20 and possibly get down here uh, to this 327.25 uh, before we see some uh, maybe a possible uh, uh, buyer stepping in and buying it back because last time when it came up here seems to have some uh, quick price rejection at this level here at 327.25 or a quick price run up okay so uh, so that's basically what I'm looking at thank you for watching if you like this video and find it informative please click on the like and if you're not a subscriber to this video channel and wish to get notification on all future video upload please subscribe to this video channel and good luck on your trading